everybody and welcome back to my channel welcome back for another vlog uh you're probably wondering why i'm covering my mouth um just about to update you on what is going on um grand reveal and then i'll explain to you that is right your girl's got her braces on <laughs> we're finally on the ladder to my treatment I'm officially starting and i'm really happy about it um i've been a bit mia um, the past couple of weeks and um, this is the reason this is the reason i've not been filming also can you just excuse the background there's like bags and stuff everywhere um i'm going to a lodge at the end of the week so that's why there's stuff everywhere um but enough of that um back to the story i've been getting used to life with braces and let me tell you i honestly did not realize how hard braces were until i got them on guys like it's next level like this the pain i had from when i first got these on were worse than the surgery and I had four teeth out. That's how bad they've been. Still getting used to them, still lisping a lot, spitting at people, which is not cute. Um, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, you girls officially got braces, which is still not used to looking at myself in the mirror. Um, so I got my braces on on the 26th of July. Um, I didn't understand know if I was going to get them on because it was only 20 days post off and I was like, I don't know if I should do them. But they did them. Sat in a chair. So it took an hour, which I don't know how I had my mouth open for that long. I was so achy. Came home, the struggle of trying to find what to eat. Like, I could not feel my teeth. They were numb. Like, they was numb. I could not chew anything. I had, I think I had soup the first day. And then my boyfriend came around when I got back. And within an hour, I felt a ping. And I thought, oh my God, what is that? The bracket on this tooth popped off because that tooth is too far back it couldn't hold so i had to go back the day after and they've put a thicker wire on uh, and they've took the bracket off so they're gonna put that bracket back on when i next go in like eight weeks time yeah she's now a braces i feel i've i've i did really struggle with the beginning with my um self-esteem like my i felt so conscious uh, even now like sometimes i just can't look at myself in the mirror because i just don't like what i see um but it is a change it's an adjustment it's something i'll definitely get used to um but the first few days eating wise was so hard like as i said my teeth were numb i couldn't chew anything uh, i'm slowly getting there now though which is good i'm starting to eat more food which is good because let me tell you i have missed chewing food um but yeah that is the main update I've got for you guys. I've got braces now. And now, officially in August, it's currently the 1st of August, the day I'm filming this. Um, I have the busiest month ahead of my life. Um, I've got family events. I've got, we're going to a lodge, me and my boyfriend and his friends and girlfriends for a few days, which will be lovely. Um, we've got birthdays. We've got just plans, 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 constant plans. Um, but that's a, never a bad thing. Just wanted to come on and tell you, update you. Of course, I've now got braces and a lot of you might not see if you don't have me on TikTok because TikTok was, I think, was the first place I posted that I had got them on. Um, but yes, I also want to do a little Primark haul for you guys. Um, to start getting the rotten bits in and I'm very excited about it. So I just want to show you a couple of new bits that I've got as well. The first being this top. This top is just like going to be a staple for me. Um, so it's this cute little black um, v-neck and it's got this like gorgeous lace panelling all down it. It's got it on the sleeves. This is so cute on. I feel like this again, just to chuck on with a pair of jeans, this is just staple. I feel like my wardrobe now, I'm going for a lot more staple pieces that I can wear with multiple things because I had the biggest clear out and declutter as you've seen over the past few months and I just sold so much stuff that I've literally worn once and I don't want to be that girl anymore. I want to be that girl that actually wears and uses the stuff in her wardrobe. Um, so I'm trying to do that by buying staple pieces and as you know, black is one of my favourite colours to wear, so love that. That was six pound and i got that in a small sizing in prime actually really weird at the minute like since i had my teeth done that was another thing i was saying since i had my teeth done having the surgery i lost seven pound in seven days which is a bit mad uh so a lot of my clothes actually fit me anymore i've gone down to like a size 10 nearly which i haven't been since i was about 12 um so i'm having to go a size down in primark size small 10 to 12 but the size is a bit all over anyway the next thing i didn't really need it but i couldn't leave it i saw it and i was like oh my god this is gorgeous um how beautiful is this underwear set uh, this again six pound how stunning it's this beautiful 
pink colour it's like a corset style almost detail and it's got little cherries on and the little thong's got cherries on and this is just so cute and you know I love me a good underwear set um so she had just she fell into my basket I had to buy her next up these are a bit out there for me um but I tried them on and I just really liked how they looked I wanted a, I've wanted a pair of this style of trousers for ages so they're kind of like a tailored trouser and um, they've got like almost like a fold down top look which i've wanted some trousers like this just like i said but i just never found it that suit me now this color is a bit out there for me it's like a beige um oatmeal color but i'm thinking white top denim jacket pair of trainers i think this is going to look cool i feel like for art i'm going to be getting back into my um cool trousers a little crop top and jacket kind of era that i used to do um, but yeah, these are lovely. I got these again in a size 10 and these were £18. Um, so they're really good quality as well. They're definitely worth the money. I know Primark's getting a bit spenny, but definitely worth it for the quality. And then the last thing I got was actually a tracksuit. Now, you know, guys, I love a tracksuit. And I'm very picky with my tracksuits, but I saw this one in Primark and I couldn't leave it. It's giving me Sister and Seeker vibes. Um, so the top was £11 and the bottoms were 12 does this just not look like something from Sisters and Seekers? Like, love it. Um, so it's this little cropped um, sweatshirt, cropped at the bottom, which I love a cropped sweatshirt because I'm one of them girls that likes tucking her big oversized hoodies under to make them cropped anyway. So having them already cropped is a big bonus, but they've got this contrast stripe on it. And I just think it's really cute. And then the matching bottoms, I've got like a toggle waist. Um, very big and oversized and baggy they've got the contrast they've got the contrast um line going down them as well but yeah i just think they're so cool and i couldn't leave them they jumped in my basket you know i'm a tracksuit girl at heart so yes love that guys i literally have the cutest boyfriend ever right so i've been i've been we've been making a joke right because i was saying that national girlfriend day was the first of august um, just messing around with you know some banner and I was like oh like it's an actual thing like ah oh. um, never expected out my boyfriend was like oh you're just chilling at home and I was like yeah um, and then just text saying can you come to the door and I was like what he's so cute he brought me some flowers how gorgeous are those and then he got this some chocolates you know like the only chocolates I'm eating at minutes for tea He's the cutest, honestly, that's just made my day. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to <laughs> Oh wait, I got you. I didn't get you. Right. We need to like stop. She's a Mona Lisa. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that feeds her You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah so I am back now from the lodge. It's obviously been the best weekend. It's been so much fun. Excuse for the rest because I'm slightly hungover. I want to show you what um, one of the girls did for us. Because she got us all little personalised little mini bags. So it's got my face on it. This is so cute. I'm going to keep this bag. Um, but she did put a little stuff in it. So she got us all our own personalised glass, which I drank out of all weekend. So mine says, obviously, see, Chloe. And then in that came a shot of Fireball and a shot of Jägermeister. So they'll get saved for future nights nice out thing she got us which was real cute um it's this staying alive hangover recovery kit um which when i've used stuff inside i'm going to refill because i think it's such a good idea um so in here there's some nescafe coffee there's some paracetamol there's some ipads uh eye mask type things and there's also some mints we're going to just ignore all the bits around the bedroom but i did want to share with you these pieces that i did get from Sarah Mart. it's been over a month now um i did do a tiktok on these like barbie inspired Sarah Mart pictures it did quite well um so i did want to show you one here because you know my obsession with Sarah Mart is next level like i'm just obsessed with it 
Um, so the first thing I did buy was this Jacquemus bag. How beautiful is this bag? It literally looks like the real thing. It's insane. It comes with a long strap as well. It's real good quality. Um, I did buy this with the intention of wearing it to the races if I ever got one point because um, I've got like a pink dress, pink dress, pink shoes, so I like a pink bag. Um, but I can also wear these with the next purchase as well. Like these can be the staples colour piece of the outfit because you know I wear quite plain outfits like black, white, grey, maybe a bit blue sometimes. But yeah, that spices it up and then to go with that. I've got some pink night dunks. How beautiful are these? I love the colour of them. Um, they might like a fuchsia colour, but I'm obsessed. Like, look how nice they are. I can't wait to sit wearing these for like just a proper colour with an outfit. With a plain outfit, just it's going to look amazing. Um, so I absolutely love these. Um, I am yet to leave the house to wear them yet. I've got so many nice clothes, but because I'm either just going to work or I've been back and forth doing um, stuff for the family and stuff like that, I feel like I've just not had a chance to like really style my outfits i'm literally just chucking on a hoodie and shorts and going um so i've not really had a chance to do that i'm going to finish this video here for you guys this vlog here so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>